And while the community may be so focused on politics and protests, Hospitals are struggling to treat patients with COVID. Yesterday, Georgia exceeded 10,000 virus-related deaths, and that does not account for the 1,100 people who had COVID symptoms but never received a PRC test to confirm if they had it. Investigator Rebecca Lindstrom talked with one ICU doctor who says the medical community is at war. I want to start with a few numbers because we just keep breaking records. Across the country, 3,865 people died with COVID yesterday, and we hit a new record for people seeking hospital treatment. Georgia is no exception. On Wednesday, we hit a record 5,431 active hospital patients. That means yesterday, 611 people, the most ever, woke up and realized they couldn't fight this virus without medical help. We are really close to close to the edge, close to the limit. ICU Dr. James Bailey says he's treating twice as many patients as normal and the sick just keep coming. On Thursday, the Northeast Georgia Health System, which openly shares all of its data online, reported treating more COVID patients than ever before. It is the greatest public health crisis of my career. When you see the kind of human devastation, you want those numbers to be out there for the community so everyone can understand that this is real. Northeast Georgia isn't alone. Hospitals across the state report patients in hallways, some even treated in ambulances because there's no room inside. Dr. Bailey found one of his patients in a ward meant for new moms. Couldn't help but wonder how other people who just had a baby would feel about the idea that there's a COVID patient right down the hall from them. Across the state right now, a third of all hospital patients are being treated for COVID. And when you zoom in closer, you see hospitals stretched even more thin. In Cobb and Douglas, it's 39 percent. In Hall County, 44 percent. That causes an inevitable erosion in your ability to do absolutely the best for every patient. With patients scattered, equipment is harder to find. And sometimes Dr. Bailey says he feels like he's hoping more than he is helping. If I'm in a car wreck or I have a heart attack, what does this mean for me? You could very well be one of the people being cared for in the ambulance bay. That is really one of the salient points that the healthcare system is so overloaded with this that even if you don't have COVID, if you come to, our, to the hospitals, you will be affected. While we're all hoping the vaccine can make a difference, I spoke with one healthcare worker today who said she's supposed to be getting her second dose, but she's having such a tough time getting away from her critically ill patients to do it.